Well, he's back. <laughs> and we finna get into it, but first, intro. Yo, what a do, Creek Squad fam? It is your boy Jason JV saying welcome to another reaction video. And yes, yes, y'all, my man Ryan Up Church uh, is back. And he not only just dropped a new song, which I will get to. I know I promised um, some of y'all that I would drop a reaction the other day. Man, your boy has been working. His nalgas off, you know what I'm saying? So, man, I, I'm just, I just been really, really tired. But, I really wanted to get into this vlog video. And then, um, the If I Were a Truck reaction is coming. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. It is coming. <clears throat> but, yeah, that, but like I said, I wanted to get into this one right here, this, this vlog video. I watched part of it. I didn't watch it all the way through. Um, so, um, yeah, it's definitely a, a refresher for me somewhat. Uh, as to whom he is going in on, whom he is roasting. And I don't know about y'all, man, but I can't wait to get into this dang thing. Sure, y'all can't either. Hence why you're here. So, without further ado, y'all, th this is Ryan Upchurch's latest vlog, simply called Vernie with the Mud Flap. And he's got the yawning emoji going on. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and just jump right into this dang thing. But, like, in the here, here. <laughs> Got the hell out of Dodge going forward in a Chevy as your truck line off the rail. I ain't 21 no more, no need to mention any kind of beer that I may sit. No time for the strip when you're living these rich, feeding these dogs and cutting these feet. Working like a. Yo, you just love to see the doggies. Look at these doggies. So cute. Let's go. I'm trying to pay them bills for a V8 on gravel and a couple good. Oh, snappers. He got the. He got Bonnie over over at Ghost Ranch. Let's go. That's a badass 56 Chevy Bel Air. And, oh, is that an OBS Chevy Silverado or GMC Sierra? Mm, my man, my, my man, card game, man. It's always on point. Let's go. Yeah, I'm gravelling a couple good years. Good, but I'm bad to the bone and I don't want to change it. <laughs> Nashville News. See, look, man, you know my man is back, and not only just is, is that he's back, but he's back in good spirits. And, man, and I heard some of the naysayers out there talking about, oh, dude is retired. He is done. He is not coming back. Unless Church himself actually says the words either I'm retired or I'm retiring, don't believe the hype, all right? Don't buy into the hype, you know what I'm saying? And uh, if you're not Church, don't be putting the words in the dude's mouth, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Because that is just how you end up getting roasted like all these other haters that came before. I'm just saying, just saying. <laughs> Nashville news. What's wrong, bro? <laughs> you want me to do something for you? Let me bring you some food. Oh, Charlie's and Jay Alexander right down the street. It ain't nothing but a thing. I, mean, I, I think they, they, they need a hug from your church. That's it. They, they, they just need a hug, you know, because they, they be a bunch of lonely foes. You know what I mean? Bruh. You want me to bring like a karaoke set there and just hit you with a little hit, Billy, hit, Billy. What do you want me to do? Oh. <laughs> Hey, Billy, hey, Billy, hey, Billy. Let's go. Nashville News. I love the dramatic effect every time y'all make a story about me. Same as last time. When y'all had the, what's her name? Uh, fuck, I don't know. She had that little, she had that little nutsack chin flap. Little thinny sag saddle bag right here. He said that, man. She had the, the little nutsack, the little chin nutsack thing going on. <laughs> Let's go. Just fucking whoa, whoa, whoa. little epidermis gizzard. Like a little chandelier of skin. <laughs> Dangling. He says hello to you. Like, hey, look at me. It's kind of uncomfortable to look at, too. She looking, old girl be looking haggard as fuck. The last time they were talking shit about me on the news, 
And I seen it, I was just like, whoa. Like, I almost had to like look away and then like look back and be like, yikes. It's like when you watch them National Geographic things about the tribes, and then, like, one of the ladies comes out, and you're like, yo, what the fuck, them titties, though. She's like kneeing them mugs. Men kill women. That's the same feeling I get. You know what that reminds me of when you said an old girl be, um, be having titties that be second so low that they hit their knees? It reminds me of that Jeff Dunham uh, stand-up when he had Walter with him. And Walter, when he makes fun of his wife, he was talk he was talking made the same joke about her titties hanging so low and everything. So they he sang that song. Do your boobs hang low? Do they wander to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? Can you hold them over your shoulder like a bag full of boulders? <laughs> Do your tits hang low? <laughs> Let's go. I got when I seen that little flap thing she got going on. Felt like I seen some cannibal tribe tits. <laughs> It had curvature to it too. Like it could have been aerodynamic to a sense. If you took her chin and the fucking gizzard flap, it looked like the front of a boat, kinda. Fucking. I bet you uh, th Thanksgiving probably her least favorite holiday. Cause you know, she probably has to run from a lot of hunters. <laughs> they, they, they be uh, mistaken old girl for a turkey, you know. <laughs> Cause I bet you when she gets angry, she, she goes, <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Nanny nutsack neck. <laughs> Nanny nutsack neck. <laughs> ah, don't worry. Fuck these people. They deserve it. Men kill women. They facts, man. Whenever you got people like this, you know what I mean. They be hating on you so hard, whether they know you or not. You know what I'm saying? They they just make their decision about you, trying to make you out being like this evil being or whatever the fuck man they deserve whatever roasting they get they deserve whatever karma that comes their way i'm just saying put me through enough shit men kill women if i want to tell you about this lady's fucking toad throat bubble she has i'm gonna do it men kill women what <laughs> talking about you know the, the... <laughs> last time she was clucking with her fucking gizzard flap on the news she was comparing me to a murderer so men kill women fuck it might i add after oh my god it does look like a ball sack oh ladies and gentlemen may i introduce you to the real life peter griffin <laughs> She compared me to a murderer and said I was dangerous and a horrible fucking person. It also got thrown out in court because it wasn't true. Yay me. Even though Verna was a liar with an extended gizzard flap because it was warm. I'm assuming that thing stretches out when it's warm and like it shrivels up when it's cold. So it was probably a little tad bit stretched out of a gizzard that day. All I know is it seems like Vernie with the gizmo fucking... Is it Vernie with the gizmo? <laughs> Bruh. You know what? Her name should, should be Meg so people can tell her, shut up, Meg. Really hates guys. Men kill women. But I mean, put yourself in her gizzards, you know? No, spank you. Damn it, Bobby, this just ain't right. I mean, her shoes. Dating scene must have been hard for her, bro. Men... He didn't speed dating. They're like, watch out, bro. When we're going around this table doing the dating thing, that thing she's got keeps trying to high five people, and I'm just <laughs> not cool with it. I don't want to high five. Yeah, right. <laughs> Men kill women. See, uh, see, look at man. He wasn't kidding, man. See, look, look, look at that. Her neck, it'd be looking like. Freaking Peter Griffin's chin, you know what I mean? It'd be looking like a whole ball sack. Not okay! That just looks all kinds of wrong. What? What the fuck? And I'm sorry, but if I gotta see it, y'all gotta see it with me. I'm just saying. Bruh, now, now you can't unsee it. You blew it. Shut up, Meg. Anyway. I mean, it could be a lifestyle thing. She might just talk so fucking much, like... Freaking gizzard neck. Freaking... Amphibious, swollen neck looking ass looking thing, fucking Kermit the Frog looking ass bitch. Or should I say, the Kermit the Frog looking ass bitch? Fucking Ernie looking ass bitch with the Ernie haircut talking about rubber ducky, you're the one. You make bat time lots of fun. Of course, in her case, it'd probably be more like uh, rubber dicky, you're the one. 
you make bedtime lots of fun. Because I don't know what man in his right mind would want to do that. I mean, any man who wants to take a stab at that. I mean, he, he, he'd be doing the world a favor by taking one for the team. I'm just saying. The skin was like, Ugh, I can't take any more. I'm dying. I'm going down here. See you later. That's just where all of her old jaw is. Her old jaw skin is down there. If it was mine, I'd pierce it. <laughs> I would. I'd put three little rings. He said, man, if he had that freaking gizzard thing on his neck, he would pierce it. He's on it and just fucking hang my Mustang keys on it so I'd never lose them. Put his car keys on his neck so he'd never lose them. Dog. Dog. Don't let the, the uh, those freaking mumble mouth, auto-tune, addict, fucking tattoo face rappers see that shit, man. Because, oh, God. I could just imagine them trying to outdo each other with that shit. It's like, okay, we did the tattoo face thing. What's next? Oh, let's, let's see if we can get areas on our face and neck or whatever that, that shouldn't be pierced. And uh, let's see who can outdo each other. Now with the with the piercings and everything, oh my god, man! Hey, can you imagine, man? That'd be, they'd, they'd be taking that shit to a whole nother level. A gizzard flap could be useful in a boating accident. For real, think about it. You're out to sea in a small wooden boat. The wind blows real hard. The sail breaks. Then what are you gonna do? <laughs> well, Vernie with the gizmo can just get in the front. Like Titanic. Men kill women. <laughs> Use her as a fucking sail and shit, like. All right, hey, but we need to go the other way. <laughs> Let's go. Whoever's where they could be like, look to the left, look to the right, and they could, they get where they need to get. Probably. <laughs> I mean, if it's warm outside. All right, so I changed my mind. I wouldn't do the three rings thing. Nah, nah, nah. I'd get a tattoo of a mud flap girl on it. <laughs> then you could just pose as a rap. So you get a mud flap girl tattoo. Rapper, like a grandma rapper with a big old neck flap. You'd be making people laugh. Hey, the world needs laughter. Probably get more views than you. Oh, God, no. We, we, we don't need any granny rappers, especially her. Bruh. No. Damn it, bro. How you gonna put that image in my head? Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, it's actually kind of funny. Flapping and complaining. You could just flap rap. I got a mud flap tap. He says she could flap rap. Bruh. Complaining. You could just flap rap. I got a mud flap tat on my skin, purse, coin sack. Men kill women. Oh my god. I'm gonna need to see Vernie with the gizmos birth certificate. I wanna know who her parents is, bro. Top half looking like some sort of bird. Might have some featheridge going on there. Bottom half looking like Count Dracula. Somehow. Dog, real talk. She be looking like one of those emu birds, you know what I'm saying? With the weird haircut and shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then how their faces come. They're rolling down and shit, and man, and, and them them emu birds, man, they, they they be they be pretty gnarly looking, man. They be looking like 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 dinosaurs and stuff, like real life dinosaurs, and they pack a mean kick, bruh. Th them 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 kicks. Let me tell you something, man. When it comes to those emu birds, man, they them kicks are so hard, man. They can actually puncture your stomach and pull your innards out, man. I mean, those birds are no freaking joke, bruh. Both sides look like. Ozzy Osbourne. What really happened down there on Sesame Street? But anyway, enough about that neck meat. Men kill women. Kind of funny, man, because I made a, a a Muppets reference earlier. My man had, had to go and mention Sesame Street. Oh, God. Hell, it's not as pointless and as retarded as the fucking news last night. Last night, they put me on the news because I had an opinion about a fucking YouTube video. Goddamn call in the cavalry. Call the police. Call the FBI. Call, call, call the National Guard. Call the, 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 the U.S. Army. Call, call the Air Force. CIA. Call NATO. I'm telling Santa Claus. Santa Claus is going to be mad. Call. They're trying to cancel Christmas on my boy right here. You know what I'm saying? Santa Claus got to be mad. <laughs> He's going to bring you a lump of coal. You know what I'm saying, Brett? NATO. I'm telling Santa Claus. Santa Claus is going to be mad. Call an ambulance. <laughs> I'm writing Mother Goose a fucking letter about you, bitch. <laughs> is it really that interesting? All I said was, hey, this show's fucking fake. I don't think this show's fucking real. I think it's staged because, you know, this is YouTube, a place where people create content for entertainment. Facts. So now what? You got the news, Vernie with the gizzard and all of her gizzard friends <laughs> grabbing their pitchforks, being like, How dare you? You 
motherfucker. <laughs> Why would you say that, you motherfucker? <laughs> Why did he say pecan? I'm sorry, but no, nah, in her case, it's more like a. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just like old gobble neck. Who remembers that motherfucker? Oh, God. Did I say, why did I say that? I'll tell you why I said that. Because. Women. You kill women. Oh, my God. So, anyway, that was Church with Bernie with the mud flap. And, uh, yeah, man, definitely got to match the like on that one because, yo with this one 100 man i'm glad to see my man is back doing what he usually does you know what i'm saying and yeah oh yeah man uh because yo I, to say the church has been missed man that is an understatement of an understatement you know what i'm saying bruh so yeah man glad to see my man is back back in good spirits doing his thing thing you know what i'm saying speaking of thing things don't forget man if y'all feel the vibes over here support the channel support your boy all the YouTube thing things, you know what I'm saying? Like, comment, share, and of course, subscribe. Shout out to everyone who's been subscribing. Yo, we are close to 73 hundo subs, man. So, yeah, appreciate everyone who's been subscribing. And uh, don't forget merch, you know what I'm saying? We got the merch, we got the free DJ24 uh, merch. So, uh, don't forget to check that out if you haven't done so already. We also got the uh, pure blooded uh t-shirt the anti-vax shirt you know what i'm saying with the pit bull on it so y'all go go check that out and shout out to everyone who's been buying the merch man really appreciate that and y'all know the deal if you're with my man up church right and you want to watch and listen to this video on your old free time uninterrupted as you would like hey y'all know to do the link for the original video that'll be in the description down below go show church some love let him know it's your boy jjv done sent you i'm sure he would appreciate that as would i and yeah I think I nailed everything. So with all that being said, it is your boy, Jason JV. So y'all take care. Have a blessed one. i catch y'all next one. Peace. Jason JV on YouTube. Uh, what's up with you, Jason JV? What up, Jason? JV. I'm just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. Jason, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, G? I didn't see that last one after the next video. I'm going to give you a little bit of 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 a little bit